by f y dy. This is equals to zero with because differentiation of constant is just zero. So you take it to the right hand side and use the property again. This property and you use this property g of eta g of eta times integral b y exponential eta transpose f y d y equal to one. Okay, I am using this property here. You just multiply and divide it by g of eta. So you will get g dash eta upon g of eta times g of eta times integral b y exponential eta transpose f y d y. This is the uh, that will be one. Okay, so you will get this thing. G dash eta upon G of eta is negative of G of eta times integral b y exponential eta transpose f y times f y d y. So this is this integral just expectation of f of y. Okay, this is the expected value of f of y. This is very simple. Uh, this is very simple property and statistics. This was a function. This was a distribution. G of eta b y exponential eta transpose f y and Multiplying this distribution with this function f y and taking integral over d y and taking integral over y will give you the expected value of f of y. So this is just expected value of f of y. So you get this. You take negative. So you take negative sign here. You will get negative g dash eta over g of eta is expected value of f of y. So this is known as a sufficient statistics. Okay, and uh, you can. Write it in this form, in in a more compact form. That is, derivative with respect to eta of log of g of eta is expected value of f of y. So this can be very easily represented in this form. So this is known as sufficient statistics. Likewise for vector case, for general vector eta and vector f y, for general vector eta and vector f y replace the derivative operator with the del operator. There is gradient. Okay. You calculate this gradient, negative gradient of eta, negative gradient with respect to eta of log of g of eta is expected value of y. This is known as a sufficient statistics. Even if you don't know these things and don't just bother about these things, because uh, they doesn't matter a lot. So I don't expect you to follow all these things, okay? Because if you are in theoretical Because if you are doing theoretical research in machine learning, then these are very useful. But if you are looking for practical application, then these things won't matter a lot for simple practical applications, not for complex ones. So this was all about sufficient statistics. Now let us continue. Now let us continue. Let us continue with the main stuff. This question was P of Y given eta, so this p of y given x i parameterized by w is one over root two pi sigma exponential negative y minus h of x i square over two sigma square. Where our where our learning hypothesis was double transpose x i. So this normal, this is general Gaussian distribution. Gaussian distribution p of y given mu comma sigma square is one over root two pi sigma square exponential y minus mu square over two sigma square. Since we know that For least square solution, sigma square doesn't change anything. As I already told you, as I already told you in the first, uh, in the second or third lecture, in the third lecture that that in calculating the maximum log likelihood, we got the answer of x. Uh, we we got the final result that was summation over. We we had we had to minimize summation over all i, y minus h of x i square over two sigma square. And I already told you that that. Taking two two sigma square or not doesn't, uh, and I already told you that that taking two sigma square will not change anything. Okay, the final answer will be same. Either x x transpose x inverse x transpose y. So either you take two sigma square or make sigma square one doesn't make any uh, doesn't change anything. For simplicity, we can assume sigma square is equals to one, but I am not taking this. You can think. You can think of while derivation. I will take general sigma square, but you can think of sigma square is equals to one. So just remove sigma square from your mind, okay, and just assume that this is just one over root two pi exponential of y minus mu square over two, okay. But I will derive for general sigma square. So one over root two pi sigma square exponential negative y square plus you just expand this quadratic term, you will get this thing. Then you will get one over root two pi sigma square exponential of this thing. 
likewise just separate this thing from this thing you will get this okay and now you compare with this formula you compare it with this distribution this exponential family distribution b of y g of eta exponential eta transpose f of y i so you will get this thing this is our y so our eta is mu over sigma square or f of y is just y as i already told our b of y is exponential of negative of y square over 2 sigma square minus mu square over 2 sigma square and our g of eta is 1 over root 2 pi sigma square so as i already told eta will come out to be a scalar it is scalar y will come out to be a scalar it is scalar that is f of y is y and now we consider case of bernoulli distribution this is even more simpler so bernoulli distribution is represented by bern of mu the uh, bern of mu is uh, probability of y parameterized by mu is mu so this is bernoulli distribution mu y, mu to y times 1 minus mu to 1 minus y so this take the exponential and log this is uh, this is step i get by taking log and then taking exponent so this can be represented in this form first you take the log and then exponential and you will get this thing exponential of y ln mu y plus 1 minus y ln 1 minus mu y so this is exponential of y log mu over 1 minus mu plus log 1 minus mu so you will get this thing it's very easy to derive 1 minus mu times exponential of y times log of mu over 1 minus mu so compare again with this formula by times g eta times exponential of eta transpose f y you will get this g of eta is 1 minus mu you will get this g of eta is 1 minus mu b of y is 1 eta is log of mu over 1 minus mu and f y is y so we, as you can see for Bernoulli distribution and Gaussian distribution this f of y is coming out to be a scalar quantity that is your target for a particular training example this y means you take a particular training example that is xi and its corresponding target vector yi and you will get this thing okay this and you will get this thing for both Bernoulli and Gaussian it is just yi so this was all about the sufficient statistics and exponential family distribution and uh, please note here that this distribution this is my own convention okay you won't find this in any literature or any other you won't find this in any literature you can find this in, in literature I, uh, I have not checked it okay but uh, in general this is my own notation many literature follow different notations like they incorporate this g of eta in this integral and they write exponential of eta transpose f y minus some function g double dash eta you can say they take this exponential inside this uh, they take this g of eta inside this exponential and they write their own notation but this is my convention to write for exponential family distribution i'm not sure about I'm not sure that anyone uses this convention or not as I have not checked this okay but for now this is my own notation I generally follow my own uh, I generally follow my own notation machine learning and wherever I, I use them I will inform you okay so there's uh, so that if you are also following some books or some literature or some research papers for machine learning then it would be easy for you to connect both these things So this is my own notation. Likewise, machine learning, I follow my own notations, and wherever they come, I will mention you. So thank you guys for watching this lecture, and please provide your feedback. Thank you guys for watching this lecture.